Hey, what's up everyone? This is Asian K uh, playing Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Time Mission. Today gonna play a mission made by uh, Jimmy Lapard and the title mission it's uh, the Adversary, which is uh, his uh, sixth mission of uh, his uh, The Invisible System series. And yeah, before gonna run this mission, you might notice there's like a two mission title that are very, uh, they're actually the same, but it's not because uh, you have two different character's point of view, which uh, one is uh, Tyler, the other one is Ryan. So I believe the one I'm selecting right now is for, uh, it's about uh, Tyler's point of view. So yeah, here we go. The next day. Mm. Mr. Adams, what is it? Sir, may I ask you why we're we doing this? Why are we leaving? It's strategy, my friend. An associate of mine called me yesterday and told me Miller's agents came to the, to his workplace and demanded to know my hiding place. According to our deal, my associate gave Miller's agent a wrong location. However, a little earlier, I found out my associate got killed last night, which means only one thing. After finding out my associate gave him a wrong location, Miller's agent killed him. I'm sure he made my associate tell him my real location before he killed him. Therefore, this place isn't safe anymore. Sir, here's our explosive you asked for. Alright, you know what are you gonna do? Get it done. A little later in front of the last time of motel, get in your car. Yeah, I knew it was Tyler. Point of view. Alright, cool. Drive to the location of High Dam's hideout. Shit, I think it's a problem because I can hear very well the radio station here. For real. Maybe the ring, the recording, the the radio station is a, is a bit louder, but for what I'm hearing right now, no, I don't hear very well. Maybe maybe because the speaker was a little bit too far, but whatever. I'm saying this because maybe I like uh, I changed the radio station by accident and then turned off to be like licensed music. Which is not good for me at all if that happens. Yes, I can turn off the sound, but you know, like uh, without the radio station, uh, well, it doesn't give me like any any atmosphere at all. Like having everything mute while traveling. I mean, shit, man, what's wrong with me, man? Okay, we're almost there. What am I doing? What the fuck? Can I go there? Shit. So, where's the entrance then? Is it here? Can break those this fence, man. Okay. So I guess I have to go to the highway then. I mean, to the edge of the highway in order to get into that warehouse if that's the way I have to go yo man I don't know what I'm doing here really ah damn it cars it's okay it's okay at least it wasn't like a nasty collision man okay there you go Alright, this looks like Adams will be very secure in. It's time to go inside and get Adams. That could help me to get over the wall. Use the dumpster to get over the wall and into the warehouse slot. Alright. Wow, I can put my hand in those wired uh, fans. 
Really? Sneak into the corner of the warehouse. It looks clear. Did Tony give me the wrong info again? There's only one way to find out. Sneak to the entrance. Alright. And I have a, like a Tech 9 to protect myself against the enemies. Sounds like someone's running in a warehouse. There's someone inside. I heard footsteps. Are you sure? Investigate the warehouse. I think it's that trap, man. Again. Ooh, dynamite. I can see dynamite at the corner. The whole damn place empty now. What? Wait, what? What the hell is that? Why are you going close to that dynamite, man? It's a time bomb, son of a bitch. Quick. Get to safety before the warehouse explodes. I think I don't think it's gonna explode. I think it's gonna ha I'm gonna get the mission failed. Son of a bitch. What? Yo, man. I didn't know I can do something like this. There I go. Well, I, I, I didn't know I, oh, I, I can jump high enough to go over the fence or something like this. I'm gonna take a longer route back to the car first. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Yo, what's wrong with the checkpoint? Seriously? I mean, the time limit and all that. Who the hell? Uh oh. Here's the two the other main character. Hey, drop it. You first. Who the fuck are you? Adam's goon? No, I'm pretty sure that you are the one of Governor Miller's errand boys, right? Why the fuck do you care? We have similar interests. If we have similar interests, why don't you put your gun down, huh? Hey, LVPD, drop your weapon! I guess we'll continue this conversation some other time. Drop your weapon now! They were running away, I think. Gonna get to the car. Where's your car? Shit! Kill all the. Ah, oh, fuck off. Yo, what the fuck, man? There's only four of them, which is not so bad. Unless they have crazy accuracy and a lot of life. Well, wow, that's bad. Quick, get back to the car before more attackers are cop come. Yo, what's with the time limit, really? It's like I didn't have enough of this. Or what? Yo, man, I don't know if I can run fast enough until the time limit goes drop down to zero. Shit, man. It's not cool. There I go. Drive back to the last time motel. And good thing that I managed to get the, to the car before I failed the mission. Alright. So the main two characters know each other. Alright, that's cool. I think that at, by the end of the series, uh, those two main characters are gonna fight against themselves. Who knows? For each point of view, actually. I'm just saying that, but uh, then again, I didn't play all the all the others uh, mission yet but i have a feeling something's got something like that's going to happen without spoiling of course but i have to agree europe is overrated eastern europe was good for a few years after the wall came down but even there the police are too strict you just can't let your hair down there are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the far east next caller you're on the wild traveler Hey, I've been listening to you go on and on about traveling. Do you know how expensive it is to fly to Asia? Russia saw the All right. coming here to set up 
find families and run numbers. Stupid pedestrian, always diving to his death. Well, not the same pedestrian, but you know, pedestrian in general. Could be a guy or a girl, doesn't really matter. Fuck, what a mess. That guy, he had to be one of the governor warned me about. That was the guy who came to Adam's house after me and killed those cops. But what the hell does he want in all of this? Who is he working for? And then those four guys in a jeep, yet that had to be Adam's people. They figured out the setup at the warehouse and didn't kill me, so they went. To finish their job, son of a bitch. This is getting out of hand, I'm gonna find Adam soon. To be continued, which means... Yeah, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Thank you for watching us next time, guys.